everybody. Now, welcome back to my channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> this is Can I Be Your Best Friend, or Best Friend for short. And I want to say thank you guys so much for being who you are, my best friends. Now, I want to talk about a couple things. The main topic today is going to be why am I single? Why are you still single? And why being single is not a bad thing. Let's talk <laughs> about it. Now, people often think that you have to be with somebody in order to be happy. Not true. Not true at all. I had this thing after my last relationship and after my, um, my daughter was born, I made it my mission to start dating myself. My motto is this. How are you ever supposed to know what it feels like to be treated like royalty if you can't treat yourself like royalty, right? So I decided, oh, can I get this hair right? Ah! So I decided to honestly date myself, pamper myself, treat myself, get my own my nails done, get my feet done, take myself out, show myself how to smile, show myself what I love and what I don't. So that way, when I started dating again, I had an idea of what to expect and what not to expect. Now, who loves you more than you? Nobody. Hopefully, you love yourself more than anything. <laughs> and and, and I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you, sometimes you gotta get to the space where you get there. Because everybody, if you went through a bad breakup or a death in the family or a little men or mental health, Sometimes it's really hard to pick yourself up after going through things like that. But I'm here to tell you that being single is okay. <laughs> now, why am I single? I am single because I refuse to be with someone who's going to treat me less than what I deserve. When I was younger, I would jump from one relationship to another relationship to another relationship simply because I wasn't happy. I didn't have any confidence in who I was and what I was. I didn't know my strength. And so I'm going to be honest with you, it was easier for me to lean towards a man because I thought that if I was in a relationship that it would complete me. Not realizing that I have to complete myself before even being in a relationship with the man. Like, that's how that works. But whatever. I was young and I had to learn the hard way, just like most of you guys. And so, over the years, I realized that I was single for most of my life just to be honest with you. I think I've only been on maybe four successful relationships, well, not successful because I'm single, but four relationships my whole life. And they were rough. They were rough, but every single one of them taught me something that the other one didn't. And it was really, who was I? And um, one thing I did um, learn out of all of them is that I am a survivor and that no matter what I go through I keep getting up and so that's dope so shout out to everybody who went through a relationship that you felt like honestly this is tough the breakup is tough I gave him everything I gave her everything and honestly whoo this one's gonna be rough to get out of but I'm here to tell you that the way you learn the way you you get through things is honestly you had to go through that to know what you deserve. You had to go through that to understand what you don't want and what you do want. So I'm so happy for, honestly, all my failed relationships, even the ones that honestly were rough to, to honestly um, break apart from. Now back to why I'm single. <laughs> I'm single, like I said, because I wanna be treated with respect. I wanna be treated like a queen and most people say, well, are you willing to treat someone the way you want to be treated? Absolutely. Absolutely. I am so tired of being treated different than what I give. Right? So anything less than that, baby girl, <laughs> I'm not doing it. I'm here to tell you right now, best friend, I ain't doing it. I ain't doing it. 
I ain't doing it. So, why are you guys single? Did you go through a crazy breakup? Did you, are you really at the, the space in your life where you like, you know what? I have to learn what it feels like to be by myself so I know what it feels like to be treated with respect. Now, there's no wrong answer to why you're single. It's okay to take this time in your life to heal. This is 2023. And one thing I am going to say is do not do what you did last year, this year. You deserve to smile. You deserve to be happy. And do not rush to get in a relationship because you feel like you have to have somebody on your side you gotta have somebody laying in your bed in order to feel like you are a whole baby girl you better start learning how to um sleep in the middle of that bed like i do <laughs> it ain't nothing like laying in the middle of the bed with a whole bunch of pillows laying and watching your favorite tv show with a bag of potato chips on the side of your bed and waking up with a smile on your face knowing baby girl you ain't being cheated on hello so I am super excited that honestly, I have transitioned from that because my last breakup was really rough and it took me three years, three long years to kind of separate myself from the thing called dysfunction because I didn't want to be single. Now, I know a lot of you guys can relate to this. I don't want to walk away from the thing that will remind me that I am a failure that I wasn't enough. That they got the best of me. But looking at yourself in the mirror every day, knowing that you are moving in the right direction and being the, mo the most authentic you ever beats any day of looking in a mirror and not recognizing yourself. Now, like I said it before, there's nothing wrong with being single. It's nothing wrong with trying to figure out what you want and what you don't. It is nothing wrong with you trying to find the, the rhythm of the thing called life. Now, most of you guys are like me. Like if I get married, I want to get married once and one, and one time only. And sometimes you, you, the first marriage don't work. And so you try again. You're like, you know what? The second one is going to be it. But I'm here to tell you, the only way you're not going to make that mistake is if you learn that you have to love yourself. And when you get the warning signs of this is not for me, learn to put on your best pair of running shoes and run like hell. <laughs> run like hell. Because baby, I can do bad all by myself. And that's what I had to learn, that I have to be okay with being by myself. If I cannot sit on this couch and watch Netflix and Netflix and chill by myself, why do I feel like I gotta Netflix and chill with somebody else? I can, I can, I can Netflix and chill by myself. You know what I'm saying? I can do this all by myself. So once again, I tell people all the time, I want someone that wants that that wants me, not need me. I want to be wanted, not needed. I want to be the thing that if my partner wakes up in the morning, I want to be on his mind. When he goes to bed at night, I want to be on his mind. Throughout the day when things are going wrong or things are going right with him, I want to be on his mind. And I ain't gonna lie to you. If I ain't the first thing on your mind when you wake up, mm-mm. I ain't for you because, because, huh, 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 hello? I'm definitely going to be ring-a-dinging your phone when I wake up because you're going to be the first thing on my mind. But for now, being single until I find that person that can make me smile from the inside out, or outside in, sorry, um, I'm I'm Okay. I'm okay with waking up every single day knowing that there's someone out there that desires the same thing that I want. And until then, we're gonna thug it out. Don't be afraid to thug it out every day by yourself and to God legit bring you the person for you. Cause you deserve it. Like you, 
Think about all the things you've been through in your life. Think about all the scenarios in your life that you didn't have to go through if you just would have listened to that little thing that said, mm -mm, this ain't it. This is not it. Imagine if you would have listened. Like, baby, you seen the warning signs. I know I did. But just like most people, we choose to ignore them because it's better to ignore it than to face that if I leave him or if I leave her, I failed again. But that's life. You got to fail in order to know what you want. So don't be afraid to fail. Date. Date yourself. Take yourself to the movies. Take yourself out. It is okay to be single. And it's okay to walk away when you know that this is no longer working for my sanity, for my heart, and for my time. Because nobody want to get their time wasted. I know I don't. I ain't got time to waste. I'm getting older. <laughs> so that is really all I have for this segment of don't be afraid to be single. Don't be afraid to honestly take your time because you really do have your whole life. And so if you rush into something and you know it's not right, honestly, you're gonna be regretting it. And the only thing you're gonna lose is time and sleep. So think about that when next time you jump into something when you know it's not worth it. <laughs> On that note, you guys, this is the end of the video. I just want to let you know that you're beautiful and you're amazing and you got somebody out there that is waiting for a man or a woman like you. They are waiting. They are waiting for someone like you. And all you have to do is be patient enough for God to send them your way. You got to be patient. Patient. That's the word of the day. Patient. You got to learn to be patient. That is the only way God is going to send you what you need when you need it. I love you guys and I appreciate you guys. And tell your best friend to tell your best friend to subscribe, like to my channel. I love you guys and I will see you guys later.